Hi, welcome to, oh my gosh, it's echoey in here. All right, well, I'm sorry about that if it sounds echoey. Um, I'm in my normal office, but whatever. Welcome to August favorites. It's already September, today's the first, holy cow. Um, August went so quickly and it was so, so busy. I had very little time to do my normal, you know, hunting and gathering and trying of different products, but I still somehow managed to find some favorites and some new things that I've not talked about before that I'm really loving. So stick with me and let's talk about some really good stuff. My room is echoing a little bit because this is my, it's, it's in over the garage. Um, long kind of a big room where I have my desk and office -y area in one side and then my studio kind of a filming section in the other and I've been cleaning everything out and making things kind of you know um, less crowded and so forth and it's actually echoing a little so that's weird but anyway um, we will get over that as quickly as we possibly can first I want to talk about a pan a loaf pan of all weird things um, I love making different loaf breads, you know, banana breads, and um, I have a wonderful blueberry tea bread recipe that I've shared here before. Um, all sorts of things. I enjoy making loaf breads, gluten-free, regular, whatever. And I discovered this cute thing, and I absolutely love it. You know how a loaf pan is, you know, kind of shorter and squattier, and you get that, like, domed kind of a loaf sort of a situation when you make a loaf of bread or whatever? Well, that's great and all, but sometimes like the people toward the end, you know, the, the, the slices toward the end are smaller as they go down and then the big ones in the middle may be too big, whatever. I love this. This is a tea loaf pan. It's actually longer. A regular loaf pan is about this, you know, this long and, and higher. Um, it's longer and it's uniform type of a look here. You know what I mean? It's just, you get all the slices the same when you slice it and it's very attractive that way. Plus. You know, it's a perfect size piece, depending, of course, the thickness and whatnot. So anyway, I have been using this like crazy and I want to talk about it. The best part about it is that it's the exact same size batter wise, like when you put your bread, you know, mix or whatever in here, the same amount, you know, on your recipe that you would normally put in a regular loaf pan goes in here and it's just more of a flat and the slices are more uniform and I'm just really loving it. I think it makes a great presentation too when you are serving it. So loving this so so much it's ceramic it's fantastic beautiful so I want to share that with you and it's on sale it's only like $15 and something um, highly recommend a lot of things from this company so take a look there oh I link everything down below because I always forget to say you know brand names and stuff but this is King Arthur so anyway wanted to share that with you um, but yeah when I do forget to say things and where I got them or where I found them just look down below. That's where I put where you can find anything that I've talked about that I didn't mention properly. Okay, um, lately, this past month, I've done a lot of traveling. I've been all over the place pretty much, and I've been kind of streamlining my travel beauty stuff just to make it simple and so forth. So these are the things for eyeshadow that I have been absolutely loving, and it's kind of new for me. I'm always, or pretty much have mostly been a powder eyeshadow kind of a person. However, I've gotten all kinds of excited about these stick eyeshadows and I've tried quite a few different brands that I have not mentioned because I wanted to pinpoint which ones were my absolute favorites. And the last two trips that I took involved everything from a beautiful wedding to um, hiking around in redwood forests to being you know, on the water, on the beach, um, to swimming in pools, to being in very hot, humid climates. It's all over the place. And I've used these exclusively and I'm wearing them now and I wear them every single day. These are the easiest shadows in the world. And the two brands that have been my absolute favorites, I will show you. The first brand that I highly recommend, and I have talked about these before, is from Thrive. They're the Brilliant Eye Brighteners from Thrive. And these are my three favorite colors that I use most often when I use these. For first one is the uh, Stella is the color, and it's just a beautiful, you know, like a, it's just a light, you know, very light color that just highlight. I do this for like highlighting the brow bone, um, like in the middle of the eye, or to highlight here in this in the corners, whatever. It just gives a brightened 
um, not too sparkly or anything, just a shimmer of brightness. And I really, really like Stella. And then um, my second one that I got that had more of a color to it was Muna. It is a cult favorite. Muna is this, it kind of shows on the, uh, like the end. But Muna is this really beautiful, just a lightish brownish, kind of a bit of a rosy tone to it, almost a rose goldish brown to it. I really, really enjoy it a lot. It works so well around the edges and around the crease. Um, area if you want to like darken the crease or the corners and then this is my new favorite and it's called Callie which is especially exciting because that's exactly what we call my daughter Callan we call her Callie all the time and it's exactly spelled the same too so I'm loving that one but anyway this one happens to be a similar color to Muna but less rose gold more of a light taupey brownish sort of a color so you can see the difference there's Muna and there's Callie and again perfect for just sort of um, you know, working its way in the areas that you want. And I'll, I'll even do like a lining bit and a line under here a little bit just for some extra color under there. But it's so simple. I mean, seriously, I'm just like putting it on, go like with my finger, wonderful. It does have a little sharpener here in the end if you wanna sharpen it for a, more of a point. It's like crayons for your face. So simple. I'm telling you, it's the fastest thing. They blend, they stay on so well. Speaking of that, my second favorite brand not sure which one is actually my favorite favorite, but of the two I really love. These are Julep Beauty, and I have quite a few colors and I have more on the way. That's how much I love these. They're waterproof, they have vitamins in there. Um, they are waterproof, sweat proof, humidity proof. They stay put. It's basically a cream to powder. So you put it on as like a cream, like you, you know, draw it on like you do the others and it stays it absolutely just stays and stays and stays so let me show you my favorite colors of this of these starting with the lightest and then going to darker this one is pearl shimmer it's my absolute favorite so far of the um you know the ones for highlighting you can just definitely highlight under the brow bone in the corners um i love putting some in the middle of my eye right there like that just sort of like touch that up a little bit love that it's a beautiful color it is a pearl shimmer just like that. Really enjoying that one a lot. Use it every single day. Now my next lighter one is it's called Clay Matte. And this is a color that just, it's like when I don't really want anything on my eyelids, but my eyelids are either discolored or freckled or whatever. I just want to smooth them out. This is the perfect color for me. As you can see, it's very much close to my skin tone. It just covers, you know, a nice, covering of just all over sort of a thing or you can just add little bits here and there wherever you want to just add a little bit more of a rosyish skin tone so that one is another huge favorite then stone matte they have mattes and they have shimmers stone matte is one of my very favorites for just you know filling in everywhere there's stone matte taupe shimmer you know me i like my taupes and my stones very similar, but this one has more of a shimmer to it, as you can sort of see, and that one's matte. This one's a little bit lighter, and the stone matte works perfectly as like kind of lining and that kind of thing. And then cocoa is also a matte, and it's a brown, and that's, I use this to line also. You can see that it's definitely more of a brown brown, not so much stone or taupey. And then I love this one, Smoky Amethyst Shimmer. I'm thinking purple really, but it's not really purple. Okay, let me just see if I can I just like put it around and just, you know, smear it around a little bit on my, you know, eye. And it just adds this, this rosy, like, I don't know, purpley kind of, it's very light. It's an amethyst smoky kind of a thing. And it kind of brings the green out in my eyes. And I like it, I like it a lot. It's, I mean, it's that simple. And I throw a little under here, you know, I'll just kind of go, whoop, you just get a little color going on under there whatever you know play with it and honestly you can't you can't mess it up i love them i absolutely love them and they last and last and last and last but yet they come off very easily with a makeup remover wipe can't beat it so loving those i wanted to share that with you because they're so simple to travel with you can have a whole array and generally i don't bring all these with me but you can have a whole array of colors and stuff stick them in a bag tons more space you know you're good to go 
wanted to share that. So when we were on our trip after the wedding, which I still need to, to share with you guys, there's so many really cool things I want to share about that. So I, I'm finally back home again from a different trip and I want to put that together. Anyway, when we were on our trip after the wedding, I ended up at one point in Oregon along the coast. It was amazing and tons of these cute little shops and so forth and we were walking around and I saw these shoes and my husband pointed them out too. He's like, oh look, that's really neat. And there were all these different colors of these shoes. And this is a shoe I have never seen before. I don't know, but maybe I've been under a rock. I don't know, it's highly likely. And I decided, okay, I'm gonna go in there and try those on. They look comfortable, let's just see, you know? And then I read about them online too. I was like, looking at my phone, I'm like, okay, what do people think? People love them. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to try. Then the next bit was to figure out what size I was, which was, I'll explain. and then figure out what color. Because they come in so many colors and so many adorable, adorable colors, I wanted something a little different. You know me, I'm all browns and beiges and tans and black and you know what I mean, all those neutrals. Well, I decided to just jump right out of my normal box and embrace some color, as you can see. Um, and I got these, they are in Army is the color. These are Ilsa Jacobson, I guess I'm pronouncing that somewhat correctly, and they are the most comfortable thing. I absolutely love them. They have this perforated bit, so they're very light, extremely lightweight, very, very grippy bottom, very bendable. Love them, absolutely love them, and they're just really different. They're different and they're cute. I wondered if they would just be like, Okay, those are weird, but no, I'm really liking them. As a matter of fact, I am planning to get another color or two. So I will show you, I mean, they have tons of choices, which is great. Um, I can't say anything more about them. They are so comfortable. I will wear these all day long, constantly. The uh, liner thing is removable, so you can put whatever you want. If you want to have any more of a support or any, if you have any kind of a, an orthotic thing or whatever you can put in there. So, so comfy. Great, throw them on with just about anything. And they're really adorable, I love them. So um, I wanted to share that with you too because I had never seen those before and I think they're real cute. And they have different styles too, so check that out. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> how do I begin to explain this? Okay, I've had this pochette. This is not even the new model. This is the older model of pochette, little bag thing, forever. I mean, I. I don't even know. Let me see if I can even find what year this thing is. But I've had it for absolutely ever. And hold on. 2011. Okay, so I got this in 2011. Seems like forever. Um, so what, 11 years ago? And I mostly never used it very often with the little strap that comes with it. I mean, it's cute, it works, you know, it goes over the shoulder, you know, it's kind of tight under there, be, being the older model especially. It's a little bit smaller than the new model, but it, it works great. So I rarely used it as a bag like this. Mostly what I would do is I would just use it as a pouch inside another purse or a bag. So I would just be throwing certain things in here and it was perfect. And I have had this in almost every bag that I've carried for 11 years and I kind of dismissed it as a carry it on my body kind of a purse because of this. Well, a long time ago, probably not too long after that, I had purchased this strap from Louis Vuitton and it's just not adjustable. It's the 12, um, maybe a 12 millimeter or whatever with the two things at the bottom. I had purchased this for a different bag and I don't know why, but I didn't really think about putting it with this. But I started doing that this summer and I am obsessed. I can't get over it. How, like, why have I not done this? And I've been wearing this bag with this strap. I just leave this one on there too, which is fine. Um, I just snap the strap on and away we go. I just have been wearing it everywhere. And what I do generally, if I have a larger bag with me, a tote bag or whatever, I'll put this just inside the, the larger tote bag. And then when I want to run into just a store or have it on my body because I want my hands free at a farmer's market or whatever, I just grab it out of the bag, whatever larger bag it is, and I put it on and I walk around. Ooh, and I walk around cross body and there it is. You know, it's just a super simple um, bag to have on me and I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. At one point during the travels, I, of 
course I had it on me. I ran to a Starbucks. I come back in the car and I'm juggling my, my coffee and my husband's coffee and I drip. And the drip, of course, goes directly straight down the leather. I'm like, oh my gosh, I've not, I've never treated this with anything or anything like that. I quickly just grabbed a napkin and add a little water to the napkin. And I just rubbed, you know, just kind of blended and rubbed it in thinking, you know, it is what it is, right? It, I don't even have any idea where that was. I don't know which side, I don't know which part of the strap that ever was. It just worked so well. I mean, I don't even have to worry about it. So anyway, loving these pouches. So now I'm on the lookout for more of these. Generally, I've been looking in the used, um, pre-loved sections of different places. There are quite a few to be found. I found a lot. You can, I'll show you where down below. This is still offered on the Louis Vuitton uh, website. This one at this moment is out of stock, but if you just kind of keep looking, you can find it. Um, they also have it in the Damier Azure available. I think that one's in stock right now. Uh, they do, they no longer offer this in the Damier of Ben, and that seems like a real perfect one too. So I've been stalking the uh, pre-loved sites looking for other ones and seeing what I can find because I'm finding that these are so handy as a pouch, as a bag, all that. So loving it, had it forever and didn't realize, you know, how great that was. But I do already have this one. This one is the new model. It's the Epi Leather and it has the pocket because it's the, you know, the new model, a little bit larger, which I absolutely love. And this has the silver hardware, which I just think is beautiful. And I was unable to find, when I looked recently, to find a, a strap to go with it. And I do have though this chain from, it's coach, it's a coach chain in silver. And it works just fine with a coach chain. It's silver, it goes well, as you can see. In other words, if you can't find a Louis Vuitton chain or you don't wanna put out the money for that, you can easily find, like I'm standing up again here. You can easily find, um, you know, a chain of some sort and it works beautifully. And it's just so perfect. So anyway, pochettes have been my jam for the entire summer and I am on the lookout always for new colors, whatever, see if I can find some good deals, um, pre-loved and so forth. And honestly, don't be afraid of a fairly old pre-loved one. Like I say, this is from 2011. I've used the living heck out of it constantly and it's still amazing. It's even the old model, so I adore it. Another thing I've been doing all summer is putting my hair up because in the summer, that's just what I do. I It starts out down and it doesn't last very long. It always has to go back up, especially on any kind of a hot, humid thing. And I'm just kind of tired of the clip. I mean, I've used the clip so many times, but then you're in the car and you try to lean your head back and it hurts. You know, it's not, it's, you know, it doesn't work. If you're, if you, if you know, you know. So anyway, I have thought, let's try these type of things. You know, a regular comb kind of thing doesn't work so well, but I wanted to really try these and I love them. This one is a, is more for, um, I'd say more for thicker hair a little bit, but because of the wobbly wobs, it really does hold even when my hair's very baby fine and not terribly thick anymore. This one works miracles on thinner hair. I can use it on mine um, also, and it's not, you know, my hair's not terribly thin, but if your hair is baby fine and thin, you will love this one. So basically, let me just show you a quick, a quick thing of what I do, okay? I hold it in my teeth. <laughs> I just kind of just do whatever, and whatever kind of a wad you do, Stick it in here and go like that. Okay? Ta da! And then, of course, I didn't do this with a mirror or anything, so you can just like, you know, push up pieces, whatever, add, you know, pieces down. But it's it's up, it's easy, it's good, and you're good for wherever you need to go. You're not sweating to pieces, and then if you want to let your hair back down, it doesn't have some weird thing, you know, it doesn't have like a line or anything. You just Seriously, boop, and you know, your hair's back down again. So handy. Same with this one. It's a little tighter for me to try to get this one in, but boy, it stays and stays and stays. Both of these do, but this one particularly, I could go through a tornado in this thing. But same type of deal. Let's see if I can do this again. I'm just gonna twist it. And push down. This one I kind of have to wiggle a little bit. Goes in there very tight, which is great.
So again, it goes up so simply, so easily. And it is solid. It is in there so well, so good, you know, stays forever. Just pull up it on down. The reason this one stays better for thinner hair is because it has these little inner bits that hold tight. So I wanted to share those. Again, I will link those down below where you can find those lovely things because they I have not been able to find them um, anywhere in a store. I can only find them online. So yeah, there's that. If you've been with me for any time at all, you know that I always do a giveaway with every one of my monthly favorites. And this giveaway is something I've talked about many times before, but the really exciting part about it is that it's an item that's only offered one time a year. It is what it is and you have to get it when you can get it. And I love it and I have for many, many years. And so I highly recommend it. And I wanna grab a bottle of this for you guys too. So this will be my giveaway this month. It's the Argon Reserve, the Healthy Skin Concentrate. It's the Reserve, which is a different thing than regular argan oil. And I've had people ask me to try different other argan oils, like the one from Trader Joe's is very good. Um, just any of those plain 100% argan oils are very, very good. However, the reason this is a little bit different, and it truly is, because I have tried them all, I swear, um, it's, it uses the whole tree, the whole argan tree, not just pressing of the oil from the argan nuts or whatever. And in doing so, it's got this golden, golden color. You can even see that, I don't wanna drip everywhere. This stuff is liquid gold. This works for everything. It's won so many awards. It's a reader's choice, or a reader's choice, a viewer's choice award winner all the time. Um, it works for everything. Anything and everything that's dry on your body. Perfection. Um, used as a night, you can just like clean your face at night and then just like you know, pat it into your face at night. You'll wake up looking like a different human. I use it for my cuticles. Amazing. Any dry elbows. You can, after you've put it, you know, plopped it onto your face and your neck and stuff at night, you can just whatever's kind of a little bit left on your hands, rub it in like a hand cream or whatever. Or you can just kind of go through your hair, you know, just kind of do the ends and make sure that they're just, you know, a little bit more moisturized or whatever. I mean, it's just amazing stuff. Now, here's the thing. They get one harvest a year out of this stuff in one barrel, and that's it. And this is the time of year it's available again. So you can't really wait. This is a six month, it's the mega size. So this is the six month supply. I always buy two of them. They're not cheap, but it's a great deal right now. $99 a bottle at last six months. It works for everything and it works. It works, it works, it works. It's one of the best clean beauty, perfect. Your skin knows what to do with it because it's just a natural oil straight from the tree. I mean, it's just perfect. So I recommend it. I really do. People say, well, what do you do with your skin? How do you know? How, what do you do? I'm like, I don't do really much, but I do use this. I really do. And I feel like it's helped. Um, you have a lot number and the little signing of the person who actually created the bottle of stuff for you is right there. They're numbered when they're gone, they're gone. And you have to wait till the next year's harvest. So it's that time guys. I'm sorry. It, it's, you you, you, you kind of have to try to grab it while you can. I have waited before and thinking, you know, I'll just do the one bottle, I'll just you know, make it last or whatever. Um, and for me, it didn't work. And then by the time I wanted the second bottle, it wasn't available and I had to wait. So no big deal, you know, whatever, do what you can. But if you can, and you would like to try this, I suggest getting two bottles for a year's worth. It's amazing on your feet, anywhere you have some dryness that you wanna deal with. And it's just the best stuff, I'm telling you right now. Wanted to share that, it's in my giveaway. This a big mega bottle will be coming to one of you. And in order to enter the giveaway, you will just click on the link down below that says click here to enter the giveaway. There'll be like one or two questions to answer, uh, you know, to fill in and you're in. You're, you're absolutely in and I will be randomly choosing a winner. The thing chooses it for me um, and contacting you if you are the winner and that will be sent to you as soon as possible. So there you go. I hope you win. If you have not tried this, I really, really suggest that you do. It's it's kind of a game changer, I would have to say. And it's it's clean, it's straight from the earth, it's not filled with a bunch of chemicals. And like I say, your skin knows what to do with it. You know what I mean? It just, it feels, it just, it's so natural and I it, it works. Number one, hands down, it just, it really, really works. So I want you guys to share in that little fun too. 
you guys so much for uh, sharing this with me. I know it's not a whole bunch of things this month, but it's, it's what I could come up with given the situation of what's going on. And I will be sharing my vacation or trip videos with you real soon, as soon as I can get myself going on those. And um, you can see where all I've been and what I've done. And um, I'm looking forward to, to sharing that with you because it was a lot of fun. So thank you as always. Love you to pieces. Bye.